It made me cry. This one's wife. I hit on William, but claimed he hit on me. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. We know that there is a considerable rift between Harry and William. They don't talk to one another. There's no communication. We've seen with the Diana Awards that William turned up in person, Harry wasn't there, and later provided an appearance as per a video link. The brothers, who were once very close, no longer are. This, unsurprisingly, coincided with the appearance of this one's wife. She poured poison in the ear of Harry, smeared the likes of William and Catherine and Charles and Camilla to him, and, as a consequence of not being particularly bright and lacking critical analysis, and driven by his rabbit-in-the-headlights approach to his wife, combined with his own emotional thinking, he swallowed what she had to say hook, line and sinker. Accordingly, she's claimed that she's the victim of them. For instance, she made it apparent that Catherine was horrible to her when it was evident it was the other way around, and Harry bought that. She complained about feeling suicidal and stating that nobody supported her, even though the facts don't bear that out in terms of her appearance on the night that she said she was suicidal seemed anything but that there was easily opportunity for her to speak to people because she was in the care of medical professionals at the time by virtue of being apparently pregnant, that Harry, having been an advocate for many years for mental health, would have easily been able to point to somebody or insist upon her receiving some help. And at the end of the day, she could pick up a telephone and use Google to obtain some help if she wanted to. It simply didn't stack up. And thus, she engaged in this smearing, polluting the mind of hapless has to separate him from those influences that she saw as potentially ruinous to her subconscious control of Harry. There's another aspect which, of course, has caused the rift between the two of them. And this is something that undoubtedly occurred, because this is a common modus operandi of a narcissist. As I've explained to you before, this one's wife is a somatic narcissist, which means she's governed by appearance and material matters. Many somatic narcissists are hypersexualized. They're at it like rabbits, and they invariably have the magical thinking of believing that everybody wants to bed them, that everybody fancies them, that when someone simply smiles at them because they're being pleasant, the narcissist interprets that as the hot and heavy panting of somebody that wants to knock their hip out. This one's wife is no different. She believes that any man that talks to her wants to go to bed with her because she's heart attack beautiful. Similarly, when she met William, not only did she believe that she ought to be with him because then she would be the queen at some point, but furthermore, she also believed that he couldn't wait to slip her a crippler. Accordingly, driven by the belief that he was interested in wanting her, and with her lack of boundary recognition because he's married to somebody else, acting with a sense of entitlement that she can go wherever she wants, and demonstrating no accountabilities for her behaviour, driven by her narcissism, she made a play for William. It might be the case that she brushed up against him and batted her eyelashes at him as to say, come on, big boy, give it to me, big Willie Stiley. She may have sought to have laid lips upon him, but the fact is she will have made a pass of some description at him because her narcissism would have dictated that that was the appropriate thing to do to gain control over him and because Harry would be in a sustained devaluation. She doesn't give a shit about Harry. He is just an appliance, like any other human being, that is there to serve her purposes. Thus, she makes that past and tries to hit on William. William isn't interested. William isn't interested for a combination of reasons. First of all, he's married to Catherine and is loyal to her. Secondly, he 
would also not wish to upset his brother. When this happened, relationships were not as frosty as they are now between Harry and William, and therefore he wouldn't see it as good form at all to be getting it on with his brother's wife. Thirdly, William probably doesn't even fancy her. Accordingly, all of those factors, as he demonstrates emotional empathy for his wife and for his brother, that he recognises boundaries and exercises restraint, means that he will have rebuffed the attempt that was rolled out by the spider to seduce him. This would wound her. William, being a non-intimate secondary source in her fuel matrix, is of moderate importance, and the fact that he would rebuff her in person would cause substantial wounding to her. Accordingly, she then needs to get him under control. Her narcissism wouldn't cause her to then jump on him, wrapping her legs around his back and grinding against him, saying, Come on, I know you want it, give it to me. But instead it would cause her to slink away from him, to assert control by withdrawal. But then there would also be more. In order to draw fuel and continue to assert control over him indirectly, she will have then crept back to Harry and said, Your brother has just tried to shag me. Or, Your brother tried to kiss me in the corridor, you know. What? explodes the ginger one as his narcissistic trait of anger comes to the fore. I'll knock seven shades of shite out of him. Um although he'd better not break my necklace. Naturally, this one's wife would say, no, 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 no. You mustn't confront him. That doesn't look good. Her narcissism, of course, ensuring that there's no actual discussion between the brothers that might actually demonstrate that it was her that tried it on. Instead, utilising the divide and conquer that narcissists regularly utilise, she has been rejected by William and then portrays to Harry as if he was the one that went after her. This is common behaviour of the narcissist in the sense of where the narcissist gets knocked back or rejected, the narcissist will invariably make it as if they were the one that actually decided against it. So, for instance, if we've seen on numerous occasions, the Sussexes aren't invited to something recent example they weren't invited to the oscars but they have to make it be known that oh we were invited we chose not to go bullshit or there'll be an instance whereby this one's wife would be told no and she'll make it seem like she was the one that decided against it in the same way that where somebody ends the relationship with the narcissist the narcissist then goes around telling everybody else that they ended the relationship in order to nullify the threat to control caused by, their reje by them being rejected and to assert control over the person that did the rejecting. Accordingly, I know for a fact that this one's wife will, as a somatic narcissist with no boundaries, with no emotional empathy, with the necessity of asserting control over a prime target such as Prince William, will have hit upon him. Furthermore, he will have rejected her, that will have wounded her, and in order to deal with that wounding and to further indirectly assert control over him, to directly assert control over Harry, she has gone back and said, your brother tried it on with me. This is something that has added to the gulf between the two brothers. She has forbidden Harry from ever mentioning it to William because the narcissism wants to ensure that she doesn't get found out of telling a lie. But it festers with the ginger-haired one. And thus, along with his concerns that Catherine has been horrible to this one's wife, as lied about and revised her history by this one's wife, and all the other the, the litany of complaints, it's added to also that this one's wife was hit upon by William. We know that she was always making eyes for William. We've seen the evidence. We've seen the way that she's looked at him in certain photographs. We, of course, saw the way that he patently sought to ignore her after the Christmas church attendance as he became preoccupied with his scarf. 
He quickly got the measure of her and knew it was better to stay away from her. And that's what tells us that he would have readily rejected any overture from her, along with, of course, the fact that he has emotional empathy. But it's clear that she'll have made a move on him. He's rejected it. And then she's gone running to Harry, saying, your brother tried it on with me, which is another reason why there is such a rift between Harry and William. Once again, recognising that somebody is a narcissist and understanding the way that they interact with other people and looking at their, the evidence of their other behaviours commensurate with their narcissism enables you to understand things that will have gone on in the background. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening. <laughs>